Hi, in this video I will show you a few tips that may be useful when creating 3D models in plasticity. I have two elements here, a cylinder and a plate with holes. I would like these holes to have the same diameter as the diameter of the cylinder. We can easily do this because when we click on the cylinder, information about its diameter appears. To change the diameter of the selected hole, we select this hole. We can immediately select two holes. Then we press the equals sign, and here we can enter a new diameter value. We can make this a bit easier, because if we select this cylinder and click here with the left mouse button, the diameter value of this cylinder will be copied, but this value will be copied in meters. I select these two holes with the shift key, press the equals sign, then press Ctrl V, and now the radius value of this cylinder has been pasted. However, we are working here in millimeters, and what we copied has been converted to meters. But if I add m here, we simply have that value expressed in meters. Now I will enter times 2, hit enter, and the diameter of these holes has been changed to the diameter of this cylinder. Of course, this was just an example. We can do such calculations in our heads. Just like here, we have 7.5 millimeters. We can simply type the value 15, hit enter, and the diameter of these holes will be changed. Now, I would like to move this plate onto this cylinder. I would like to do this in such a way that the reference point is the center of this hole, so that the center of this hole, on the upper surface of the plate, is placed at the center of the cylinder. To do this, I switch to solid selection, select this solid, select the move command, and here, the reference point is the center of this solid. But now, by pressing the F key on the keyboard, we will switch to freestyle mode, and we can manually define the reference point. I click in this place and now click in this place to move the plate to this position and right click to accept it. Now we will add a copy of this cylinder and place it in such a way that this cylinder is inside this hole. I select this cylinder, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and here similarly. I press F, select this reference point and then move the cylinder to this point and right click to accept it. We have created something like this. Now I select these two cylinders, press the equals sign, and slightly change the diameter of these cylinders to 14 millimeters, so there is a bit of clearance. We will also do something like this. I will create additional cylinders. I choose to draw a cylinder. I will place the center of the cylinder at this point. Press tab to set the diameter. Diameter 20, enter. I add an extrusion, hit D, type 5 millimeters. And I want this to be a new solid. Therefore, I press the B key and click OK to accept it. Now I will copy this cylinder to this location. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now I press F and choose this point as the reference point. As you can see, we can select a seemingly invisible point because we have the X-ray mode enabled. And we can simply select the geometries that are hidden in this view. I click this point and then add a copy of this cylinder here. Right click to accept it. Now I would like to get both this plate and these two cylinders on the other side. Therefore, with the shift key, I select these three solids, set side view, and here select the mirror command. I select this command, and now I need to select the mirror plane. By default, we can use one of the basic mirror planes, but as you can see, we also have the freestyle command here. By selecting this command, we can freely define the mirror plane. I press F, and now I look for characteristic points lying on these cylinders. I have the center face point. I click this point and click a second time here to define the mirror plane in such a way that this plane passes through the center of these cylinders to get the mirror copy of the plate and the larger cylinders on the other side. I click OK to accept and I have created solids in this way. Now, with the shift key, I select these three solids. I press the Q key, then Q again to join these solids together. I click OK and do the same in this location. I select these three solids with the shift key, hit Q, Q again, and OK. 
we have created something like this. We have four solids here, a plate, a solid made of cylinders, a second solid made of cylinders, and a second plate. As you can see, these short and simple tips can be very useful and helpful in some cases. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.